What's up, y'all? So, we're out here. It's a little bit after sunset, or the sun is continuing to set there. Uh, so, I thought I'd come out and do uh, some uh, night flying, or late evening flying. And I have two of my, uh, what I think are really good night flyers. This is, they're both uh, DJI clones. This is the Spark clone, and I got the uh, Shark, the... Uh, uh, one of the Mavic clones in the car. And I'll grab that one in a minute. But uh, check out these LEDs. See that? There's a white light in there. You might not be able to see it. It's still kind of light out. But this thing lights up real nice. And let's get it. So it has Wi Fi FPV and all that stuff. But we're not doing that today. That's one of the good things about these quads. If it's a good flyer, you don't have to, you know, do Wi Fi FPV if you don't want to. And. I don't want to. <laughs> Let's put it in the air and see what it looks like flying around. There we go. It's a good flyer. That looks cool, man. Look at it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, buddy. So, man, I, I just got the spark. I love that little thing, you know. Um, it's perfect for those real quick, inconspicuous flights. Now, when I say inconspicuous, I'm not talking about <laughs> how it sounds, because it's it's just as loud as some of the big birds. But what I mean in is it, what I mean is is it's so small that when people see it, it's not intimidating. It's not intimidating at all because it's so tiny. It's like that little thing, that dude flying that toy around. And I'm like, yeah. But every now and then, I like to just grab one of these and just go flying like this. I don't need no Wi-Fi or FPV or nothing like that. And this one has altitude hold, but some of the altitude hold quads fly really, really nice like this one. Now I will say my best altitude hole quad or the altitude hole quad that flies the best, that flies the sportiest that I have is that uh, uh, WL Toys Q, I forget what it is, I'll put it up, I'll put it up on the screen, uh, I forgot the name of it, it, it Contexo did a rebrand of it, that's the one I had, I think it was the F6 or the F7, one of those. But uh, that sucker, man, I did a review of that, and uh, that's my best altitude hole flyer that I've ever flown. Don't, don't, gadget. Gotcha. But this one's close behind it. It flies good. It's not as fast as that one. But this flies good. <laughs> but look at how the LEDs look. Isn't that cool? Let's bring it back over so you can see it. See that? I didn't know how much battery I had in this. I just grabbed it off of my shelf. It's not flipping for me. How come it's not doing a backward flip? Huh. Can't get it to flip backwards. If it rolls, there's my lights. Well, anyway, let me let you see these lights. Really cool, man. I really like this thing. I like quads that have real nice LEDs like this. It's real nice to come out and fly them like you know, around this hour or even later. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I like it. I'm going to go grab that shark too. I'm not sure how much battery it has left either. Like I said, I just grabbed them. And they have these proprietary batteries in them, so... That's the one thing I don't like, but... Otherwise, these are great flying machines. Look at those lights, y'all. 
<laughs> I'm a drone enthusiast, okay? So don't get mad at my enthusiasm, okay? I review them, but that don't mean I, I can't be happy. <laughs> Have some joy, y'all. Some of y'all, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to leave it alone. But that, some of y'all, it just seems like y'all don't even enjoy the doggone hobby. <laughs> Everything is so stressful, man. I, I do this to de-stress. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's supposed to be fun. I never got into golf. I think I would have loved golf. But at this point, at my age, I think I'd kill myself trying to get into golf. But that's supposed to be fun. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be fun. Anything that you do for a hobby is supposed to be fun. Now, if you're working, if it's work, that's, that's something else. This ain't work for me. This, this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't work. It's an old saying that if you find something that, you know, you would do for free, you know, that's, that's your ideal job. Yeah, I, I would do this for free. And I darn near do do it for free. You don't make no money <laughs> on YouTube. You got to do other things and to try to uh, maximize that, but... There is a cost to doing reviews and making videos, especially if you spend time in it, with it. You put your heart and soul in them. You know, that's a, there's a time cost to that. Uh, and time is as valuable, if not more. Now, scratch that. Time is more valuable than money. Absolutely. Way more. All right. I, didn't, I wasn't thinking I was going to get deep today, but somebody, at least one of y'all feel me. Okay, it's landing. Okay, I'm going to go grab the shark now, and we're going to fly that one. We're just flying, man. We're just flying and talking and hanging. All right, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I got the shark, <laughs> the Vizio shark. So this is the uh, uh, Mavic clone, and both of these are excellent, man. They, they're, they're really good toy-grade quads, both of these. Um, so let's get this one powered up. Where's the switch? There we go. Yeah, I don't know how much power this one has. Like I said, I just grabbed it. I think the lights on the Spark clone are better. Okay. Yeah, this one's at LVC already. That's okay. Let's see if we can fly it a little bit. All right, where's my uh, auto takeoff? There it go. We'll fly it as long as we can. But yeah, those lights aren't as prominent, but what we want to see... We want to see the shark teeth. <laughs> there they go. He got a whiny sound. Like a robot sound. Kind of like the uh, tarantula. Remember the tarantula? It's a good flyer too, man. These are good flyers. Okay? If you, if you don't feel like fooling with Wi-Fi FPV, pull them out and fly them like this. You know what I'm saying? Just pull them out and fly them like this. We got the shark teeth. Good flyers, both of them. Oh, I think I'm landing. I'm running out of running out of power. I don't want to kill the battery, but that's what the LVC is for. And I don't do this all the time. This one's a little more wobbly than the uh, the Spark clone. I didn't get to do any flips with this one, but I really just wanted to show you how it looks, you know, at night. <laughs> and uh, just real quick, you know, let's do a pass. Yeah, <laughs> we just flying, man. Sometimes just fly, man. Sometimes just fly. Just go fly sometimes. You'll enjoy it. You know, uh, if you ever feel like you're getting tired of quads, you're burning out, here's what you do. Go back and remember why you started. Why'd you get into quadcopters? why you get into drones? You know what I'm saying? Even if you ended up starting a channel and doing reviews and stuff, you know... 
I got I got into drones because it was fun. I was mesmerized. Listen, man, I never flew planes or helicopters or none of that as a kid. I didn't. The best thing I did was uh, RC cars, and not even the good ones. And uh, I was on a website called Meh M E H dot com. It's it's kind of a quirky website. Well, anyway, they sell one thing uh, every evening, every every night at midnight. They post a new product, just one, and it's usually you know a heavily discounted product or something like that. So anyway, they had a Cheerson CX10 on there, and they were selling it for like I think it was 15 bucks, 14.99 or something like that. So I said, all right, let me try this out, quadcopter, and it was tiny too. Man, I got that thing, and it had a little camera on it. Man, I was hooked. <laughs> I was flying that little thing around the house, around the backyard. I was crashing like crazy. And this is the low rate. This thing is super, super stable, especially in that low rate. Look at it. It just hovers. That altitude hold works great. Okay. And let's try a flip here. Very easy to fly this thing. But you know, the excitement of it was mastering it. You know, really learning how to fly. See those lights when you're, when you're out at night? Uh, and, and it's not pitch black dark. But when you're out at night like this, those lights really do help you with orientation. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so I wanted to master flying and everything, so I kept flying it, and I started getting better and better, and then what happens, this is what happens. I'm like, man, I need a bigger one. <laughs> I need another one. I need a bigger one. So then I got the, uh, I got the SEMA X11, and that's a, that's a, that's a, that was a little bit bigger. That's still micro size, so I went up from, I went up from nano to micro. And then I got the SEMA X5C. I also got the Bang Yang Toys X9. But my next step up was the SEMA X5C. And, uh, yeah. And I've always kind of been a bargain shopper. So, you know, I never wanted to, like, break the banks. This, these are not essentials. You know what I mean? And, uh. I got babies and stuff, man. You know, I got, I got bills. So, I, you know, it's a hobby. So, uh, but at that time, you could find really good deals. You still can. You still can. But I think it was back when the hobby really started to take off, I think it was simpler times. Because there weren't as many out there to pick from. Good ones, at least. And there weren't a lot of, like, fancy this optical flow you know uh what they got now all of these you know follow me and all that you know stuff that don't really work on the toy grade <laughs> uh boy that's a long lvc ain't it let me see if i can flip nope that's a long lvc ain't it you know what come to think of it when i did my uh when I did my review, I think I cut it short too too soon. Because uh, when I did the review, I think I got like 12 minutes. Because this one's supposed to get you, I think they advertise like 20 minutes or something like that. 18, 19, I forget. Let's check. Yeah, we can't flip anymore. Yeah, so it's definitely not 20 minutes. Maybe close to 10 though. We're gonna keep flying it. Now when you see the, the lights flash like this, this is your low voltage cutoff warning, which is telling you that the battery is low and you should probably land at this point. But if I had kept flying it past the LVC, because I've been flying for three, four, five minutes. So this is, yeah, this thing does, I'm, I might have to do another flight. I'm gonna, uh, that settles it. I'm gonna do another flight. Yeah. I'm going to do another uh, flight test for flight time. Sometimes these batteries, when you get when you get the quads with the new batteries, you have to cycle, uh, uh, cycle them through a few charges before the, uh, the batteries 
will get you their max uh, or give you the max uh, flight time or duration of flight time. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this flying a long time, man. And you see the LVC. We started in LVC. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to do another flight test of this. But anyway, so yeah, man. Uh, go, uh, 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 go back to... You got to go back to why you, you, you got into something, why you started something. You know, there's a passage in the good book that says, uh, go back to your first love. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to remember why you, you started something. You know, you, you got to remember your why. My pastor preached a, a message, a sermon, he said, a lot of times we don't endure things, we don't finish things, we don't complete things, we don't weather storms, we don't have stick to because we don't know our why. Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? And, you know, if you, you know, if you have, uh, we all have different moral compass, but if you're not doing something solely for money or for personal gain, um, which I think is more of a driving force than money. You know, things other than money are, are usually more of a driving force that causes you to stick stick to things. There's a, there's a statistic that says that most people um, who stay with jobs and stuff like that, they stay because they're appreciated, okay? Not for money. All right, that's it. Oh, shoot, it just shut off. I hope I didn't kill this battery. Y'all saw how long it flew after the LVC? Dang, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. I didn't mean for the video to be that long, and I didn't mean it. I didn't think I was going to talk so much like that either. But anyway, thank you for watching, y'all. Um, these are two good quads, man. If I had to recommend any two toy grade quads to you, it would be the Shark or that, uh, that DJI Spark clone. I can't remember the name of it. And the uh, F6 that I mentioned. That sucker, man. I don't even know if they still sell that one. But I'll put a card up so you can check that out if you're interested. But all right, I'm going to cut it. I didn't want the video to be like 20 minutes. Hopefully, I'll cut it up if it's too long. But yeah, I'm going to do another video on this one. I'm going to do another video on this one. And uh, because I think, uh, I think it will get you that flight time. All right, man. Like the video if you liked it. And uh, man, I just thank you for hanging out with me if you stuck around to the end. I appreciate that. I'll see y'all later, man. Peace.